Move Over Movies, we have a new genre to quote from. Why does this pantsless child have a sword? I gave it to him. It's dangerous to go alone. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 most quotable lines in video games. I'm glad and all, but why are you here? I just had something I wanted to check. For this list, we're taking a look at the most poetic, clever, and iconic lines that are tied to video game narratives. We've excluded famous catchphrases from video games, because we already have a list for that. You what? What are you talking about? Also, keep in mind that in order to fully dissect some of these quotes, a couple of spoilers can't be avoided. Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? Number 10. What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. Castlevania Symphony of the Night. What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. You're a literary buff. You might know that this line actually originated from the French novelist André Malraux. If you spent your childhood playing video games instead of reading books, though, you'll likely recognize this quote from Castlevania Symphony of the Night, when Richter Belmont first confronts Dracula. What is a man? But a miserable pile of secrets. The voice acting might be a little cheesy, as is the dialogue itself. Yet, Dracula's analysis of mankind is the perfect way to transition into a battle as Richter shows the vampire king what men are really made of. What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. Although the line did get tweaked in the PSP version to sound a little more, well, like English, it still doesn't have the same ring to it. Ha! Mankind. A cesspit of hatred and lies. Number nine. Why, that's the second biggest monkey head I've ever seen. The secret of Monkey Island. Why, that's the second biggest monkey head I've ever seen. The Monkey Island series is renowned for its quirky dialogue reminiscent of a great Saturday morning cartoon. I'm not giving you bloodsuckers your key to the monkey head until you return my banana picker. As the would-be pirate Guybrush Threepwood first arrives on the island, he stumbles upon a giant monkey head idol. As glorious as the monument is, Guybrush notes he's seen bigger. One can't help but wonder where Guybrush would have seen a larger monkey head or just how big it was. You ain't going nowhere until you give us something. Although it remains a mystery, this quote epitomizes the clever writing that made Secret of Monkey Island an unparalleled comedic adventure. Private property. Worshipping is permitted, but please do not enter the monkey head. Number 8. I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow in the knee. Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim. I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow in the knee. What makes Skyrim such an addictive game is its vast, seemingly inhabitable world. It feels like everyone and everything has a backstory, including the random guards. Go on, get out of here. At some point, you're bound to encounter a nostalgic guard who gave up adventuring after a fatal accident. Seriously, one arrow to the knee stopped you? Imagine what this pansy would do if a vampire bit him or dragons attacked. Regardless, it's tidbits of dialogue like this that demonstrate how detailed Skyrim is making you want to explore every corner and talk to every character. All you need to know is that we're paying for information. If that doesn't interest you, feel free to walk away. Number seven, would you kindly, Bioshock. Would you kindly pick up that shortwave radio? It's the buildup and shocking payoff that makes these three simple words immortal. Throughout Bioshock, the voice of Atlas guides Jack through Rapture, kindly asking him to do the occasional favor along the way. Now, would you kindly find a crowbar or something? As often as the phrase is repeated, you rarely think anything of it, because, you know, Atlas is Irish, they say funny things. <laughs> Your genetic code is being rewritten. Just hold on and everything will be fine. At the game's climax, however, it's revealed that Atlas was truly the sinister Frank Fontaine, who has manipulated Jack into killing Andrew Ryan, amongst other things. Would you kindly... Powerful phrase. Familiar phrase. In addition to headlining one of the greatest video game betrayals, the line makes for a fascinating commentary on free choice in video games. It says... Would you kindly... Number six. You were almost a chill sandwich. Resident Evil. That was too close. You were almost a chill sandwich. Anybody who's a fan of Resident Evil can identify this infamous quote from the franchise's first outing. That was a close one. A second late, you would have fit nicely into a sandwich. As Jill Valentine, you find yourself trapped in a room where the ceiling is gradually collapsing on you. 
Unfortunately, Barry Burton is there to knock the door down. With Jill out of harm's way, Barry delivers a line that's hilarious in all the wrong ways. <laughs> You're right! The one-liner's corniness is only made more ridiculous by the stinted voice acting. As silly as it might be, Jill's sandwich was sorely missed in the 2002 GameCube remake, although it does reappear in Revelations 2. Are you okay? Yeah, I was almost a clear sandwich. Oh, does Barry tell everyone that story? Number 5. Did I ever tell you the definition of insanity? Far Cry 3. Did I ever tell you what the definition of insanity is? Boss Montenegro is insanity incarnate. Just staring into those dead eyes is enough to send a chill up anyone's spine. Did I ever tell you the definition of insanity? As the disoriented player opens his eyes, he finds himself at the mercy of the last person anyone would want to wake up to. I'm gonna drive a bullet through my sister's skull. I needed you by the grant. In a monologue worthy of Shakespeare, or at least Tarantino. Now that right there is a definition of insanity. Boss discusses how insanity stems from doing the same thing over and over again, but expecting different results. That is crazy. Boss's final question brings his rant full circle, encompassing the endless loop of insanity that is his mind. Did I ever tell you the definition of insanity? Number four, it's dangerous to go alone. Take this, The Legend of Zelda. The old man from The Legend of Zelda can be a royal pain, making you pay for his door repair. It's hard to stay mad at the old timer though. After all, he did give the ill-equipped Link his first sword free of charge, and sent him on his quest with one of the most famous lines in gaming. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. This is the police. I'm coming down. Without his generosity, exploring dungeons and ultimately defeating Ganon would be infinitely more challenging. Despite being a bit of a cheapskate, the old man doesn't want to see Link meet with a terrible fate. <laughs> Number three. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. Half-Life 2. Rise and shine. The G-Man is one of the most mysterious figures ever to grace the gaming universe. As Half-Life 2 opens in a psychedelic sequence, he awakens Gordon Freeman and places him in City 17. Wake up and smell the ashes. Fading away like a mad dream, the G-Man leaves the man of no words with these unforgettable words. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. The line is every bit as cryptic as the G-Man himself, making the player wonder how he's planning to take advantage of Gordon's services. All we know is that Gordon is once again the right man in the wrong place. In the meantime, this is where I get off. Number two, thank you Mario, but our princess is in another castle, Super Mario Brothers. When gamers first popped Super Mario Brothers into their NES, many assumed they had reached the game's conclusion at level 1-4. It turns out that the Bowser before Mario was a fraud, however, and his princess was in another castle. You better get used to an annoying little toad telling you this at the end of almost every world as you travel through the Mushroom Kingdom. But upon arriving at the final castle, the persistent plumber at last defeats the real Bowser and rescues the princess in the most satisfying of endings. Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Tell my wife, I had another wife. Another visitor. Stay a while. Stay forever. <laughs> Stay a while and listen. It's time to kick ass and chew bubble gum. I am all out of gum. Number one, war. War never changes. Fallout series. War. War never changes. 
although Solid Snake might disagree. War has changed. The Fallout series has asserted time and time again that war never changes. And war, war never changes. This line sticks with us not only because it's repeated at the beginning of virtually every game, but because of its poignancy. War, war never changes. The end of the world occurred pretty much as we had predicted. While every war has its own unique signature, the horrors of combat are perennial, regardless of the technology used, the forces involved, and the year it takes place. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. Whether you're fighting in this civil war or a post-apocalyptic war, war will always be hell. War. War never changes. Or does it? Thanks for watching Mojo Plays. Be sure to subscribe and click on the link in the description below to check out our suggestion page and vote on what content you'd like to see us cover next.